Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Uh, me too. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, very well. Oh, nice. Very good. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Are you ready for to, to finish the second week? Yes. Yes. The, the <laughs> second ready. week of class, right? Not, this, not oh, the yes. real week, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Yeah. Uh, I have turned on my camera, but at a thirty o'clock, I can start. Okay, it's okay. Thank you. Good evening, Miguel. Sorry. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, nice. Very good. I'm very well. Did thank you. you. Okay. Ready, ready for this last day of of the week, of the class week. Yes. Okay, it's the last day. Yeah, it's the last day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of the class week. I mean, of class, right? But not of the real okay, week. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, for the real week, we are still missing uh, two days, right? After this. Yes. 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 All right. Very good. So, uh, hi, Suma. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Sandra. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Fine, teacher. Oh, oh very good. Thank you. Hi, Rafael and Ophelia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Are you working, Rafa? I'm going to what do you say camino de camino? I am on the way. I am on the way. I am on the way. All right. But you live uh, far. Where do you live? In La Union. Oh, you live in La Union? Yes. Ah, I thought you live in San Miguel. I was confused. No. Mm. I see. So you work at Univo, but you live in La Union? Yes. In the city? Yes. Okay. I travel always. Sorry? I travel every day. Oh, I imagine. But you live in La Union, you live exactly in the city of La Union? Uh, so, so, it's near the center. Oh, I see. All right, nice. I, I, I really like La Union. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ophelia. Mayra. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Very good. Today I work from home. Oh, nice. Yeah, you are very good then. <laughs> you work with family. Yeah, very good. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's start then. Uh, and let me pass the attendance to begin. All right. So I was saying that today is the last day of the week, right? But the week of class, not the real week, all right? Because for the real week, uh, we have two more days, all right? Uh, so uh, first, I want to thank everyone because everybody has completed the platform work, okay? So thank you very much. Gracias porque todos han completado el trabajo de la plataforma. I checked before the, before the session, okay? So thank you very, very much. Good. So let me pass the attendance quickly then, Ada. Adriana. Present. Ana Michelle. Present. Very good. Angela. Present teacher. Nice. Azalia. Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Uh, Gloria. Gloria. No, not connected teacher. Carla. Present. Very good. Margarita. I'm here. Oh, Margarita. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you will stay today for the for the one on one session. Yes, today. Uh-huh. 
Today, yes, I'm ready. Okay, let today. me see. Okay, let me see who we have for today. Uh, September 1st, right? Oh yeah, it's you, Margarita, so we have no problems. Yes, I come back early of from work, okay. so I can one for one. All right, perfect. You can have the session today. Very good. Thank you, Margarita. So today, please stay. All right, stay today, please. All right, Mayra? Present. Very good. Miguel? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Ophelia? Osmin? Present teacher. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Surma? Present. Okay, thank you. Erwin? Ingrid? Lourdes? Oscar? Present teacher. And Susana. Okay, all right, very good. So thank you very much. So um, uh, for today, uh, basically we also finish uh, unit number two, okay? So today we finish uh, unit number two and we have um, some speaking activities, some writing activities and some reading and vocabulary activities for today, all right? So let's begin. So I remember uh, yesterday at the end of the class, at the end of the class yesterday, I presented some common activities or common tasks that you can do at a restaurant or at a workplace, okay, at the workplace. Do you remember any activity? Do you remember any activity from the ones I presented, okay? Activities you can do at the workplace. Do you remember any? Or you don't remember any activity? Okay, here we have the activities, okay? Very good. Uh, so among the activities, so pay attention to this, please, because we are going to use this vocabulary. Uh, we have meet the head chef to review the weekly menu, right? Uh, what is head chef? Do you remember? What is head chef? Do you remember? Chef principal. The chef principal, right? The, the head chef. Very good. Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. What is souvenirs? Recuerdos. Very good. All right, the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees and check weekly schedule, all right? So these are some tasks, okay? Or some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant, all right? But probably in your workplace, you do other activities, okay? Maybe, maybe in, in your workplace, you can do these activities or you can do other activities. I don't know, all right? So please uh, take a moment and uh, on page number 26, okay? You have two charts, okay? You have two charts. Tienen dos cuadritos. You have two charts. Here, you need to write some activities or some tasks or duties you do at the workplace, like four tasks, maybe, all right? So using frequency adverbs. You can say, for example, I always check email in the morning, or I sometimes visit clients uh, on Monday, for example, okay? Yeah? So please write four or five activities about you on this space, four or five activities about you, all right? So I give you four minutes for this. Any question? Do you have any question? Or is clear? Well, I assume it's clear because nobody says anything. All right, I'll assume it's clear. All right, so these activities are about you, all right? About you in your workplace, okay? Tax, tax, es uh, lo mismo que activi 
activities duties yes tasks activities or duties is the same okay it's about your workplace okay. remember okay it's about your workplace tasks you do in your workplace okay your classmate compañero de clase yes but but right now uh, yeah but yeah but in this moment only complete your tasks okay only your tasks okay this okay. is your classmates tasks will be completed in a moment okay in this moment you only need to complete your tasks okay This is on page number 26, okay? In case you have the, the photocopy, all right? Page number 26. Teacher, how many tasks? How many duties? I'm like four. Okay, you can write four. Okay, four yeah, tasks. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. If you want to write more, no problem, all right? But the idea is that, that at least you have four tasks, okay? At least. Uh, try to use frequency adverbs, okay? Usually, sometimes, seldom, for example, you can say seldom, all right? Often. Thank you. 
Okay, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> yes. Hi, everybody. Yes, Hi. Okay, so, so um, I guess some people are still working. So I'll give you one more minute, okay? If you have three activities in one more minute, no problem, it's okay. You will practice with three activities, okay? Okay, uh, all right, very good. Um, you had enough time. Okay, if you have three activities, no problem, all right? Uh, you are supposed to have four activities at least, all right? So listen, to practice, to practice, we are going to use the question, um, what tasks do you do in your workplace, okay? What tasks do you do in your workplace? Yeah, that's the equation we are going to use. I repeat, what tasks do you do in your workplace? Very good. Now listen, in case you have the photocopy, okay? The idea is to practice in pairs, okay? So you ask the question, imagine I practice with Anna Michelle. I ask Anna Michelle, okay, Anna Michelle, uh, what activities do you do, um, or what tasks, sorry, what tasks do you do in your workplace? In my case, I always check in my emails. Okay, wait, wait, uh, wait, I... hold on, hold on. So I, on this page, okay, on this page, I need to take notes about Anna Michelle's answers, okay? In case you don't have the photocopy, you do it on your notebook. Okay, so I write a uh, she, you say I usually check email, right? So I say, yes. so I write Anna here, Anna Michelle, if I, if necessary, okay? For, uh, in order not to forget the name. And I write, uh, she usually uh, checks, for example, she usually checks, la S que no se le olvide tercera persona, she usually checks, Email. Okay, tell me the other activity, Anna Michelle. I sometimes visit the stores of my company. So I continue. She sometimes um, visits the stores of stores. her clients. All right, very good. So the idea is to complete this space about uh, the classmate you practice with. All right. So if Miguel practices with Sandra, Miguel will, will complete the chart with Sandra's information and vice versa. Sandra will complete with Miguel's information, okay? So I repeat, the question is, what tasks do you do in your workplace? Do you have any question? What tasks do what you do workplace? Do you do in your workplace, in your, in your workplace? Quick question, um, Rafael, are you, um, well, Rafael is on the way, Oscar, well, Oscar is not, uh, so uh, Ofelia, va a participar en la actividad? Yes, sí, right? Chef. All right. Yes, teacher. Siempre me confundo por la segunda cámara. All right. Uh, Osmin, yes, right? Teacher, I have, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, yes, teacher. All right. Yes, Margarita? 
eh, con relación a la pregunta, es what does? Asks. What asks? Ah. Asks. What asks? De letra M, ¿no? The, the, the word we have, okay? Uh, your, your, uh, it says your, on the instruction, it says your tasks. Ah, tasks. Tasks. Ah. Exactly. Yeah, tasks. Yeah. Gracias. <laughs> All right, no problem. Uh, Rafa is on the way. Ophelia is going to work. And Ingrid, are you going to participate in the activity? Yes, right. Me voy integrando. Okay. Hay que, que, le, que le explique el compañero. Okay. All right, sure, very good. I Sorry? can participate. I can participate. No Rafa, problem. right? Okay, very good. Yes. Rafa, right? Or Nelson? Yes. Rafael. Ah, okay, perfect, Rafael. Very good, excellent. All right, so uh, let's go then. Uh, let me let me see. So I have, I will make nine groups, okay, nine pairs. Okay, so let's go to practice. Please take notes. Don't forget, take notes. Uh, you need page 26. And you, you should ask, uh, ask me or ask Sulma about the task he, she does. Preguntarle qué tareas hace en su trabajo. Sulma isn't here. Sulma is in another group. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Ingrid. The question you are using is what you will ask Rafael, what tasks do you do in your workplace? Okay. And you need to take notes, okay, about his tasks. Yeah. So the question. ¿Qué es lo que Trabajo. Ajá. Le, le, debe, debe preguntar, debes preguntarle qué tareas hace en su trabajo. What tasks do you do in your workplace? And take notes. Y tomas notas. And you take notes. Okay. 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 Ask me. Así es. Eh, what does eh, do your workplace? Así es, ¿verdad? Do you do in your workplace? Do you do in your workplace? In your place. In o your sea, workplace. What do, you, do you do in workplace? Así, in your, in your, your, in, in your workplace. Yes, okay. and you and you need to take notes, Ingrid. Take notes, okay? Tomas notas. Take notes. All right. About Rafael's stats. Okay. Okay. All right, so get started. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, ¿cuál es su segunda actividad? Ah. Uh, uh, a work a trabajar. Y pero pero ¿qué hace usted cuando cuando trabaja? A partidos contables. Entonces revisa archivos. Sí. 
Vale, entonces su segunda eh, tarea puede ser I always check report or document. Teacher, primero vamos a hacer las tareas de nosotros y después las que son similares a cada una, ¿verdad? Yes, well, in this moment you are supposed to have your activities, right? And, and you oh, are supposed yes. to, to yes, share. But and you take... el... Me, I ready, but yeah. I help to Ophelia. Ah, okay, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's okay. okay. So, and when you finish, you, you practice the question. And you yes. take notes about Ophelia's activities and Ophelia takes notes about your activities, okay? Ah, okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Ok, Ofelia, eh, ¿cuál es su, 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 la siguiente actividad que hace? Hacer. Después que revisa los archivos. Voy a ver que, digamos, los documentos que estén completos, lo que estoy digitando, que sean del mes, que corresponde. Ah, entonces usted puede poner su siguiente actividad. Eh, I always um, typing, typing bad teacher. Typing. No, type, only type. Type, only type. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I it's always, present. Type. Ah, okay. I always type. Always type. Um, type. Eh, report, ¿Qué, ¿qué clase de reporte es? Son reportes financieros. Más para, okay. para hacer la... Y casi... Next. Next activity. Darwin. Ahí está. Ok. Bye. First, okay. always arrive to my work at 8 a.m. Second activity. Always check my email at 8.20 a.m. Here. Sometimes eat breakfast in the cafeteria. Okay. Ah, uh, Flor, are you taking notes? Are you taking notes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Um, in this case, I I write the and he always arrive to your work his work his his ah okay his work at a i am ah okay sería okay. his 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 ah okay de él de él his su de él okay thank you and in your case that when you say her okay Hair is to the area, okay? Yeah. Hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Ford sometimes attend the meeting in the afternoon. Okay. And finally, never sleep in my job. <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. Ask me the question. Okay. okay. What task do you do in your workplace? In my case, I always check in my email the first time. Uh, 
I usually meet on Fridays with my work team. Uh, I never work on weekends. I regularly have a meetings with my boss on Mondays. And I ra ra how do you say teacher? Rarely. 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 Cambiar eso. Rarely. Okay. <laughs> I rarely have lunch at 12. Um, 12. Para decir en punto. How do you say? O'clock. O'clock. 12 o'clock. Si es al mediodía. Sí. 12 o'clock. Okay. Entonces, um, cambiaría. I sometimes have lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay. Okay. ¿No almuerza a las 12? ¿A qué hora almuerza? 1 p.m. One, yes. Um, how do you say que tarde? <laughs> Too late. How do you say? Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Ah, okay, okay. Too late. Yes. You're not hungry at 12 o'clock. Ahorita me encontró tomando té el teacher otra vez. <risa> Café. No voy a ir a un té porque eh, le digo yo que estoy engripada y de hecho me dolía muy fuerte la cabeza. Entonces pensé que no iba, no iba a poder aguantar los audífonos. Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Ginger. Tea. Ginger. <risa> ginger. What, what is ginger in Spanish? Ginger. Ginger. Ah, yes. uh, no, no sé, teacher. Ay, jengibre. Jengibre, jengibre. Ginger. Yeah. ginger. Me encanta. I like. I like ginger too. I like ginger. Ginger tea. Sí, ginger tea. ¿Cómo se dice picar? ¿Cómo se dice picar? Spicy. 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 Spicy, picante. You can say hot too. Hot, but hot is like very spicy. Hot is... Realmente picante, ok. Yeah, you, can say, you can say spicy. Very, very It's spicy. Picante. Yes. I making, making, así va. I make. Uh, and... Sí, uh, ¿cómo es el Ah, with, uh, with orange Menos. leaves. Orange leaves. Uh, orange leaves. Uh, yeah. Ginger y canela, no sé cómo así. Um, cinnamon. I think it's cinnamon. <laughs> sí. Cinnamon. Eh, cinnamon. Y miel, miel. Honey, honey. Honey, honey. honey. Uh, yeah. Delicious. Honey. Yeah, honey. totally. I agree. Ahorita como no había de orégano, me dice uno oh que my. me hace la garganta. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. What do you so mean? Did you finish? Well, yes, yes, yes finish. Okay. Yes, I'm checking something quickly here. Yeah, cinnamon is canela, cinnamon with double N. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Y oregano, picture? Oregano. The same. Oregano. Oregano. Yes. Es bueno para la piel respiratoria, Sandrita. El orégano. Sí, muy bueno. Good. Okay. I like I like all teas in general. Yes. Black tea, cinnamon, eh, chamomile. Natural. Natural plant. Yes. Chamomile, uh -huh. orange tea. Orange tea. And lemon. Tea? Lemon tea, yeah, in general. Yeah, manzanilla. In manzanilla, you say chamomile. 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 Uh, yes, I like yeah. chamomile tea. My favorite, mm. my favorite is chamomile, uh, cinnamon, uh, lemon, and, uh, and honey. Honey. And honey. And honey, yes. Miel, honey. Ah, yeah. Delicious. 
Very delicious. Yes. Uh, all right, everybody. Um, well, just something quickly. Uh, for today, I will speak a little, all right? For today, I will speak a little. And you will speak a lot, all right? That means that you will practice a lot today. Ahora van a practicar mucho. Yo hablaré poquitito. I will speak a little bit, all right? I don't like to speak very much, okay? I like you to speak. En realidad, a mí no me gusta hablar mucho. Me gusta que hablen bastante ustedes, que ustedes practiquen, okay? Because the idea is that you practice in the end, all right? You have two hours. So these two hours to practice a lot, okay? So today you will practice more, okay? Even more than the other days, okay? Very good. So uh, let's listen to some uh, participations, all right? Uh, let's see um, Ada. Ada, uh, who was, um, who did you practice with? With Flor or? Teacher, acabo de entrar yo a la sesión. Ah, okay. Y entrando tuve porque no viene temprano a la casa. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. All right, let's see. Um, okay. Let's see, Angela. Who did you practice with, Angela? Uh, my classmate with uh, practice is uh, Sandrita. All right. So can you can you share uh, some of Sandrita's duties, please? Sandrita's duties, not your duties. Sandrita's duties or tasks. San, Sandrita's duties. Uh, she um rarely meeting with manager okay uh, she usually uh sometimes check um, pardon. she sometimes check email she usually send email she usually balance the ship she always prepared the inter iron okay thank you <laughs> uh, she preparing usual she usually preparing to balance conciliation, conciliation. Wow. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, <laughs> Angela. All right, uh, just, just for everybody, not only for Angela or Sandra. Don't forget that in a sentence, you need a verb. In a sentence, you need a verb. So you can say, she sometimes makes balanced cheats, for example. So you need a verb in a sentence. If you don't have a verb, it's not a sentence, all right? Si no tiene un verbo, no es una oración. All right, so okay, this is for everybody, not only for Angela or Sandra. Okay, thank you, Angela. Thank you very much. Uh, the ultimo, le damos like a todos. Okay, so we give likes to everyone at the end. Okay, so let's listen to um, a boy. Okay, let's listen to um, Darwin. So Darwin, uh, who was your partner? My partner is Flor de Maria. All right, uh, can you share some of uh, Flores' tasks, please? Okay, first, she always checks her email first thing in the morning. Okay. Second, she usually meets on Friday with her work team. Okay. Uh, she never Word on um, weekend. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Do you have one more or that's it? Uh, one more? I don't know if you have more information about floor. <laughs> no, no more information. Yeah, just, just one more. Okay, continue. Uh, she sometimes eat lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Darwin. Thank you very much. So let's listen to another girl. Uh, let's listen to, um, let me see here. Asalia Melanie. Who was your partner, Asalia? Um, con Mayra y Don Osmin. All right. So uh, can you share information about Mayra or Osmin? It doesn't matter. You decide, it's your decision. Ambos. 
Both. You say both. Ambos. Both. Both. All right. Okay. Um, Don Osmin, he often prepared his daily activities. He often makes a report. And Mayra, she almost always has meetings with her client. Uh, she sometimes checks reports. Okay, thank you. You say clients, all right? Clients, clients. A client. Clients, clients. All right, thank you very much, Asalia. So let's listen to another participation, a boy. All right, let's listen to um, Osmin. All right, Osmin. Okay. Osmin, uh, Osmin, only about Ophelia because we listen about the other partner, right? So uh, share the information only about Asalia, sorry. Only about okay. Asalia. Okay. Activity uh, number one, Asalia. She always found card management. Number two, she sometimes increase and control the portfolio of clients in, in donors. Yes. Only two. Only two. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Osmin. Thank you. Now, please, everybody, now everybody go to reactions and let's give the participations thumbs up, okay? For everybody, for all the people who participated in this activity. So and, please, everybody, and go like, to react. Yeah. And? And, 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 and activity of Mayra? No, no, no. Yeah. not because uh, Asalia share uh, Mayra, uh, Asalia share Mayra's oh, activities. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, yeah. don't worry. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, yeah. thank you um, for the participations for this activity. Okay, now listen. Listen, I, I have a question in general. Here, does everybody have a bus or you are your own bus? Or you are the bus? Does everybody have a bus or you are the bus? One bus. Margarita, you have a bus? I, I have, have a bus. Okay. I okay. have a bus. You have, everybody has a bus. Mayra? Yes. Do you have a bus or you I are have... the bus? I have a bus and I have two buses. All oh, right, very good. Okay, that's that's good information. Anybody who is the bus here? Alguien que sea el jefe? Anybody who is the bus here? I'm a bus. You and are I a have, bus. And I have three bus. Ah, but you have other superior people. Yes. Ah, okay, it's, it's fine. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Oscar. Okay, very good. Now listen, listen carefully. For the next activity, the idea is that you write tasks about your boss. Not about you, not about your colleagues. No, about your boss, all right? Yeah? Using adverbs of frequency. And please, please, please use verbs. Usen verbos, use verbs. For example, about my boss, right? I can say, um, my boss is... Don Macklin, for example, all right? Um, and then I start with the description, all right? He always checks email in the morning and in the afternoon. But if I say, yo digo, he always email in the afternoon and in the morning. I am missing the verb. Me falta el verbo, right? So please, use a verb. Usen un verbo, use a verb, please, all right? Um, write at least five activities for your boss. At least five activities for your boss, all right? And don't forget, don't forget, put S in the verb. No se les olvide que en tercera persona le ponemos S al verbo, o S, okay? So he always checks, yeah? She never supervises. So don't forget this, please, all right? Okay, start to work. If you have the photocopy, si tienen la photocopia, if you have the photocopy, you can work on the photocopy. Sorry? So in case you have the photocopy, the activity is on page number 26, okay? Exercise yes. six, okay? If you have the photocopy. 
Sí, tienen una fotocopia. So please, at least five examples, okay? At least five examples about your boss. If you don't have the photocopy on your notebook, okay?
Are you ready? Not yet, I think. All right, take two more minutes. Two more minutes. Yes. All right. Thank you. I am ready. Are you ready? Okay, very good. That's yeah. excellent. Uh, please, if you are ready, then go to reactions and show me. Porque si no estoy adivinando quiénes terminaron, quiénes no terminaron, okay? Go to reactions and raise your hand if you are ready, okay? So please, if you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand so I see the people who finished. Si terminaron, vayan a reacciones y levantan su mano para ver quiénes están terminando. Okay, thank you, Oscar. And thank you for the ones who raise hands. Okay, so I can see more than half hasn't finished. Okay, so take two minutes. Los que ya terminaron, dejen la mano así, no la bajen. Leave the hand like that, please. All right? Don't lower your hand. Okay? Thank you. All right, so let's wait two more minutes. Okay, two more minutes. So, Okay, while you finish, um, I will pass you the attendance quickly, okay? Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Anna Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Carla? Carla? Present, present. Okay, Margarita? I'm here. Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Ofelia? Here teacher. Osmin? Present teacher. Rafa? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Jansi? Jansi is not connected. Sulma? Here. All right, very good. Elwin? Ingrid? Present teacher. Okay, Lourdes, Lourdes, Oscar, present, and Susana. 
Okay, very good. Okay, uh, okay. If you have only three activities, it's okay, no problem. All right. If you have two, or three, or four activities, no problem. Okay. Now listen, listen, please listen carefully. Pay attention here. Um, the idea in this moment is that in breakout rooms, okay, in pairs, you share uh, your boss tasks with your classmates and your classmates will talk about their boss tasks, okay? Now listen, the idea is that you compare the two bosses, okay? The idea is that in pairs, you compare the two bosses. For example, yeah. for example, let me give you one example. Uh, you can say, my boss and your boss um, are very similar. You can say, my boss and your boss are very similar because you give the reason, okay? Por qué? Because um, they supervise personnel, um, they check email in the morning. I don't know. It depends on the activities you share. Okay. Depende de las actividades que compartan. It depends on the activities you share. All right. Or you can say, uh, my boss and your boss are very different. Okay. Because my boss checks email in the morning and your boss checks email in the afternoon, for example. It depends on the activities you say. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. Is it clear what you have? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. So I repeat, I repeat. Yes. Uh, the, the structure you have to use is my boss and your boss are very similar because my boss and your boss are very different because, and then you explain. Okay. Yeah. So for this activity, you will work in pairs. Okay. So the idea is first to share the, the tasks and then to compare your bosses. Okay. Very good. So let's go to work in pairs then. Okay, let's go to practice. Teacher, I I changed the group. <laughs> I I changed the I changed you actually. I'm sorry, okay, because I saw Mayra was alone. So Mayra needed oh, somebody no. to practice. Okay, that's why I sent you with Mayra. Okay. <laughs> I have <laughs> okay, Mayra. Um what does to Creo, creo does, que la pregunta sería, what does, what does, what does, does, does your boss do? Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. my what boss, does, what task does your boss do in your workplace? Si la queremos hacer similar a la anterior. Okay. Okay. My boss is always in meetings with suppliers or clients. And he signs the expenses every month. He approves payroll payments twice a month. Uh, he sometimes meets with accounting to review financial statements. And he always greet, greet, greets all employees in the morning. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
more lo slow, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Repeat, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. My boss is mm -hmm. always <clears throat> in meetings with suppliers or clients. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He signs the expenses. Mm -hmm. Every month. Okay. Uh, other? Approves twice a month. Yes, he approves payroll payment twice a month. Only payment. Oh, okay. Como la planilla. Uh huh. Yeah, provider. Okay. No digamos nada que ya vino Tich. You hear, teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to teach. I work. Vamos a comparar, teacher. Porque ya, ya el. Check your, your yeah. chat. I see uh, the, the message. Sorry. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. I see. Okay. This way. Okay. Tell me other, other. My boss yes, has re rarely gotten sick. Rarely? Ah. Gotten sick. Got Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Can you spell that, please, readily? Um, moment, one moment. Readily got it sick. Yes. Uh, gets, maybe you can say gets. In this case, Angela, uh, my boss rarely gets sick. Gets. The verb get, okay? Yes. Gets. It's correct. It's yeah, correct. It's, yeah, you say gets. My boss rarely gets sick. Uh -huh. Sick. Uh, gets. Gets. Okay. Gets sick. Get, okay. Gets sick. Gets sick. Okay. Okay. My boss never met. De hacer. <laughs> never. Or it's a very rarely. Okay. Eh, my boss rarely gets angry. <laughs> so, ¿Cómo? Por no decir que always no. <laughs> Pero <laughs> my boss rarely gets angry. Get rarely. Rarely gets angry. Angry. Uh, For no decir always. 
Rama, ra, usually, rara. usually. <laughs> rareli. O puede ser, sí, rareli. O sea, Esa sería un sarcasmo, eh, quizá. Ah, ok. Se me propongan el güey. O usually, usualmente. Ah, no se oiga tan pesado. <laughs> usually, my boy usually get angry. I don't know, it's, it's better. It's hungry only. Angry? I don't know. Enojado sería, ¿verdad? No, it's, it's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. Actually, you can use get with adjectives, okay? Uh -huh. um, it's a I, exactly. You can use get with adjectives, okay? Uh -huh. My boss usually gets angry. It's okay to uh -huh. say gets angry or okay. gets hungry or gets Hung upset. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What is that from teacher? Is Sorry? Get, get angry? Get angry. Get angry? What is traduction? Se enoja. Se enoja. Se enoja. Usualmente se enoja. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> If I want to say él usualmente está enojado. Ah, then you say is. It's possible too. He's always angry. He's always angry. Okay. The two forms are possible, right? He's always okay. angry or he always gets angry. It's the same purpose. Okay. Yeah. Never, never get angry. <gasps> Very uh -huh. nice. <laughs> Very nice. Your walks. <laughs> Tal vez no, no, no enojado, no hungry, pero estresado. ¿Cómo se dice estresado? It's rarely too. ¿Cómo? It's rarely that he stressed. He, uh, Stress. Así se dice. Stress. Stress. Ah, okay. El de acero. Teacher, do you know, do you know Lick Pereira? No, I know him. De Aguilucho, Lick Pereira. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know him. He's very nice. Oh, the Eucharistic, uh, Angela. Hello. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. ¿Cómo se llaman? Eh, oh, there. Uh, uh, ¿cómo se sentence? Okay, I, I tell you uh, that I that I I do it the I put the specific task or more specific task. But okay, we see. She uh, in my case, my boss always does the planning of activities for the mom. My boss always does the planning of activities for your work yes it's his work he certainly does not get your work on his work his work his work, his work. His work. yes his and last el rara vez no obtiene su trabajo así es no le entendí Creo, yo creo que me equivoqué yo en the right the sentence porque no, 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 no tiene coherencia. Uh, él, he's early. Él, no, pero él es temprano. Él temprano, no. Él rara vez. No, entonces, rarely. This is rarely. rarely. No, early. Ah, rarely. Rarely. He rarely does. Así sería. He rarely uh -huh. does. Rarely. What das. do you want to say, Osmin? Uh -huh. In Spanish, what do you want to say, Osmin? What do you eh, want to say in Spanish? Rara vez no. Es que aquí me equivoqué, teacher. Excuse me, me equivoqué en una palabra. Realmente. It's okay. Pero, pero ¿qué quiere poner? What este do you want Osmin? to say? Uh -huh. Él rara vez no. No falta su trabajo, algo así. No, de faltar, va. No falta. Falta sería. El rara vez falta. Dice, a, a rara vez. He really does not work. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that really is negative. It's a little bit negative. So it's kind of strange to say doesn't rarely. 
es muy extraño decir a uh, Dustin rarely or okay, uh, raramente es que raramente hace algo, solo decimos rarely. No no es necesario ah, yeah. decir el negativo, ¿okay? Por no, ejemplo, no él raramente el falta al trabajo, sería la oración. Exacto, ah, okay. así. Ah, okay. Sí. Uh, he, he rarely misses work. Misses. In this case, he's uh, miss. uh, miss miss miss. 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 Uh, miss. miss. Misses. Uh -huh. With double M I S S E S. Misses. He rarely misses work. Misses work. Okay. I, I are okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, there, uh, there are more. There are more uh, duties. Uh, that was me. Yes. Oh, only it. does. Only that. No, the number five. Yes, oh. it's the number five. Only the five. Number five is he. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Go ahead. No. Okay. He never. Uh huh. Insult. Use insult? the people. Use the stuff. Okay. He never insult. Use the stuff. Use, use, use sí. the stuff. Use. In, in Spanish, he nunca usa insultos a los. Ah, he never used insult. Insult, use. Insult. Ah, no, sé, no sé si, si, es, si es al revés. No, es, me parece que es. He never insult, use the stuff. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. okay. Ahí, ahí, ready. Yeah. Okay, right, right. Un poco me gustó por esa palabra que me confundí. Excuse me. Okay. Guys, excuse me. Is the exercise 5-6, the page 26? Yes, the page 26. Exactly. Exactly. Number 5? Number 6? Number 6. Number 6. Write a, okay. a five line paragraph about tasks your boss or a colleague does in your workplace. Hello. Hello. Hi, right, teacher. Hello. Sorry, the, the the microphone wasn't working. Tell me. Hi. Hello. We. we... You finished. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm just waiting for other groups to finish. Okay, but in a moment we go out. Okay. okay. Well, right now we are going out. Right now. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, let's wait for the others to come back because some people haven't come back from practicing, okay? So let's wait for them a little bit. They're coming back. Finish, teacher. They're coming Dumb. back. <laughs> Dumb. Sorry? Dumb. Sorry, can you repeat that? And don't teacher. Don't don't finish or what? You didn't finish. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Uh, so everyone, thank you very much for comparing your bosses. All right. I hope you didn't speak uh, wrong things or bad about your boss. All right. I really hope that. Okay. <laughs> I really hope you didn't say bad things about your boss, all right? Good. Love your bosses. Very good. So uh, let's carry on. So listen, uh, for the next activity, we have a reading comprehension activity, okay? The same. Today, I say today, I'm not speaking very much because I'm not explaining many things, okay? Today, you are speaking, you are reading, you are listening, blah, 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 okay? So look, for the next activity... Uh, which is on page number um, 27, all right? We have a reading. On page 27, we have a reading, okay? Yes? 
And the reading is about a schedule of a restaurant uh, manager, okay? I repeat, the reading is about a schedule of a restaurant manager and the reading is on page number 27. So listen, in this activity, pay attention here. In this activity, you need to read the article, all right? And you need to write here on this page, the times of these activities, okay? For example, check temperature at the kitchen. What time? What time does this activity happen? According to the reading. Okay? De acuerdo a la lectura, a qué hora sucede esta actividad? So please, you need to write the times for each activity according to the reading. De acuerdo a la lectura, according to the reading. Okay? The reading is on page number 27. Yes? Clear? Yes, teacher. Clear. Yes. Very good. So what do you prefer? What do you prefer? To work in pairs or to work in groups of three? Let's negotiate. In pairs. In pairs. 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 I, like, I like pairs because you work more. Okay, me gustan las parejas porque tienen más chance y practican más. Okay, you practice more. Okay, very good. So let's work then in yes. pairs, okay? Any question about the activity? Another question. Do you want to work? Do you want to work with the same pair or with another pair? <laughs> with the same pair or with another pair? What do you prefer? With another pair. Okay, let, let, me, same, let me the same. Let me recreate the pairs then. All right. I have recreated the pairs. Algunos grupos van a quedar de tres, okay? But not so many. Solo como dos. Just like two, okay? Oh, okay, hold on a second. Ah, me quedan demasiados. Voy a hacer otro grupo más. I better make another group, okay? Okay, let's go to practice. Please answer or write the times of the activities, okay? Write the times of the activities according to the reading. Los dos son varoncitos. ¿Los dos son? ¿Niños ¿Sí? o niñas? Niños. Ah. Hi, teacher. Hi. una producción. Sí, No, pero ahorita hay Ahorita. Ahorita vamos a iniciar, teacher. Mayra, eh, hay... I read one, 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 line. one, 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 Remember, the, the idea here is reading comprehension, not pronunciation, okay? So, but it's up to you. The strategy you use is okay. But the, the idea here is not pronunciation. It's to answer or to write the times for the sentences, okay? Escribir la hora para las oraciones de abajo. Okay, so I recommend you go and read the sentences first and then you read the information, okay? Go and oh, read the okay. sentences para que sepan que es la información que necesitan to know the information you need, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Vaya. Number one, check temperature at the kitchen. Number two, turn on light and sound system. Eso me suena como que fuera en la mañana. Make the schedule for the second shift. Number four, open the back kitchen door. Number five, do inside work. 
And number six, turn on the open sign. Como que fueran en la mañana. Vaya, veamos. Open, ah, aquí está la, esta vez. The open, open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Yes, 9.30. 9.30, ajá, 9.30. Entonces sería la número 4. 4, ajá. Entonces sería acá. Aquí lo voy a poner. Okay. 9.30. 9.30 a.m. Vaya, veamos la siguiente. Walk around kitchen, check temperature in all coolers and freezes. Create, aquí está, create a schedule for server and buzzer. Creo que estaba uno de revisar los schedule. Aquí está, Make the schedule. Make the schedule for the ah. No, pero este create no. a schedule for servers. Sí. En uh -huh. Next, name uh, server is dark to or clocking. Es cuatro días. Aquí está, mira. Esta de make the schedule for the second shift es esta vez. Ah, make yes. Schedule for the second shift. Second shift. Ajá, server and buzzers. Kitchen head food handlers. His team. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Vaya, veamos, sigamos acá entonces. Server start. Turn on. The light. Aquí está. Sí, Ajá, la two. Ten, ten. Ten, ten. Ten, ten. Sí. Uh -huh. Every clock. Out and have a quick lunch along with employees, and we will talk about what they are scheduled. Short for me, that's no, no, tenemos. Because no, back. no, working. Open again. the front the door and turn on the open sign. No, 11. No, 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 yo me equivoco. Okay. Okay. Uh, and 11, mm -hmm. go to the go kitchen to and the check kitchen. temperature already to eat food. And the, get some food. No, no, no. Nighty DPM, we start to distinct work. I supervise every time get done right. At 10 p.m., Turn the open sign off and lock to the front door. 10, 10 p.m. Enter credit card. Check into the... Um, sorry for the interruption. Are you writing the times? Ya está inscribiendo las horas o todavía no? Not yes, yet. It's in, yes. In yes. Okay, Sorry. yes. I, I want you to focus on reading. No en pronunciación. Quiero que se enfoquen en lectura comprensiva, no en pronunciación por ahora, okay? Okay, please. Okay, please. Right. okay. Bye. Yes, the check the te exactly. check tempera temperature at the chicken and night for 40. Verdad? Check really? temperature at the kitchen. Yes. Night AM. Eh, uh, no, night no, 40, no, me sale night a mí. 40, night 40. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. mm, ok. Uh, turn on the, the lights and sound system. Eh, sería 10, 10 a.m. ¿Really? Sandra? Permítame. Ok. Uh, tour of the light and stop system. Ah, ten ten. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. Tour of the permítame. 
or feel like and so so system sería ten 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 vea a ten ten a n okay three maybe a statue a statue for the second ship Uy, y esto que la leímos y no me acuerdo dónde está eso. Ah, ya, ya le digo. No. Ah, ah, sería este. Ya le digo. Este, sería me... por, por 10 p.m. Por. Por 10 p.m. Este teléfono se me cierra. Por 10. For 10 p.m. Ah, may I sketch you for second sheet for 14. Mm -hmm. May I sketch you for, for the second sheet. Vea a las 4 y 10 de la tarde. Y ahí dice, Ajá. make the share, make the share, schedule. Ajá. Sí, ya. Yeah. Hey, schedule for second chip. ¿Qué es second chip? Chip. Bullets. Bien raro se oye. <ríe> Son refrigeradores. <ríe> Colors. Ah, refrigeradores. <ríe> Ajá, colen en freezer. Refrigeradores ni, y no es lo mismo freezer. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. A cooler is only for getting things cold, and a freezer is for freezing things. Freezing is for, para congelar, and cooler is para, solo para poner a helar cosas, like the, the, for example, the refrigerator has two parts, the cooler and the freezer. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refrigeradores, refri, refrigeradores para helar, y, y, y freezer es congelar. Uh -huh. yes. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Did you finish answering the questions? Yes. Sí, ya estamos viendo las palabras que no conocemos. Okay, perfect. Very good. Tenemos terminados. Okay, excellent. Booster, tampoco nunca lo había escuchado. Booster. Porque no se confundiera con la palabra. Buzzer. Teacher, buzzer. what is the meaning of buzzer? Buzzer. A buzzer uh -huh. is a person who retires at the dirty ditches and fixes the tables. Es el que retira los platos sucios y arregla la mesa. That's a buzzer. It's kind of uh, like a waiter. Es como un mesero, uh -huh. pero tiene tareas diferentes. He has different tasks. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Buzzer. That's a buzzer. A buzzer. Uh-huh. Yeah. otra palabra también que dice buzzer, which sure is, ¿qué quiere decir? Sorry? Hi, good evening. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, did, everybody, um, did everybody answer the questions? Did you write the times? Yes. Everyone? Yes? All right. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. No me apareció la palabra servers and user. Oh, in the translation or in what? Uh -huh. Actually, I don't have a translation for buzzers. I just know the definition, but I don't know if there is a translation for real. 
Yeah, I mean, waiter is easy, right? Waiter is a person who serves the food. But buzzer is kind of like, like a waiter, se parece el mesero, but the, the, the buzzer uh, is in charge of cleaning the table. That's the difference between the waiter and the buzzer. The waiter serves the food and the buzzer cleans the table and, le and, and leaves it ready for the next uh, family or for the next guest. Yeah, that's the difference. That's la diferencia. Okay, that's the difference. And server and server is server? like a waiter. Server is waiter, it's the same. Server and waiter and waitress are synonyms, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Yeah. All right, no problem. All right, let's see. Um, so basically we have six sentences and you were supposed to write the times, okay? So Margarita, do you want to start with number one? Um, 9.40 a.m. Oh, but read the sentence. Read ah, the sentence okay. and you say the time. Check, check, the, check temp temperature at the kitchen. Yes. What time? Nine. 9, 9.40 a.m. 9.40 a.m. What about the others? Do you have the same information or different information? Different I information. I have different information. Different. Ah, different information. Ah, Miguel, no, I'm Miguel <laughs> what, time, what time do you have, Miguel? 11. 11. 11, exactly. It's 11 a.m., Margarita, 11, and everybody, yes. okay? 11 a.m. o'clock. That's right, 11 o'clock in the morning. Ah, sí, también yes. hay. <laughs> Check if the sentence is check temperature at the kitchen, okay? Check temperature at the kitchen, all right? Okay, uh, number two, let's listen to um, Rosa. Turn on the lights and blah, blah, blah. Turn, turn on the lights and sound system. Yes, what time? At 10.10 10 a.m. Exactly, at 10.10 10 a.m. Or you can say 10 after 10 if you want, okay? 10 after 10 a.m. 10 or 10 past 10 if you want okay very good thank you very much rosa okay let's listen to um to a, a a boy all right so nelson are you there nelson nelson yes teacher number three please make the schedule uh, make a schedule for second sheet seven or bus abusive kitchen here cook handed his team uh, but what time what time what time do you have for made the schedule for the second shift 4 10 p.m exactly 4 10 p.m excellent nelson thank you very much that's pretty good all right now let's listen to another boy oscar number four open the okay 9 30 uh, read the sentence please Ah, okay. Number four. Okay. Number four. Uh, open the back kitchen door. The answer is 9.30 a.m. Exactly. Open the, open the back kitchen door. All right. Exactly. Thank you very much, Oscar. So the time is 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. Thank you very much, Oscar. All right. Let's listen to another girl. Uh, let's listen to Adriana. Number five. Do inside. I don't have the answer, teacher. You don't have the answer. Who has the answer? Teacher. Michelle, yes? For the five sentences, we we think that is side, no inside. Okay, yeah, that's right. In the reading, you have side work. In the reading, yes. you have side work, uh -huh. actually. So what time do you have? The answer is at 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m., exactly. Yes, in the reading, you have side work. You are right, Michelle and Miel. You are correct. Very good. So it's 9.30 p.m., all right, 9.30 p.m. And the last one, number six. Let's listen to another girl because girls are majority here. All right. Uh, let's listen to um, Susana. Do you have number six, Susana? Yes, I do. All right, turn read it. Off the, yes, turn on the open scene, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. 10 p.m. What do you think? 
with the others. Is that is 10 p.m. okay for turning on the open sign? Oh. oh. No, no. Okay, Mayra, what do you uh, have, Mayra? I have 10.55 a.m. A.m.? Yes. Yes. Yes, does everybody have a.m. or p.m.? A.m. 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 Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's okay, then it's okay. Okay, it's okay. You say a.m., all right? See, teacher. All right, very good. A.m. or A.M.? A.M. A.M. Right, A.M. A.M. or A.M. Uh, I am or I am. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. For, um, for practicing, uh, for, for answering the, the times. Okay. Very good. Okay. My time finished here. Now you go and you complete another activity. Okay. We will, check the, we will check the vocabulary in a moment. Yes. Eh, solamente the number five. Eh, que la corrigieron, verdad? Side. Uh -huh. Side work. Era, Side. Side work. Side. Side okay. work. And the time okay. was uh, 9 30 p.m. PM. The code is PM. inside or to, right. or to do inside or to do side. Uh, side. Side work. Okay. Side work. Uh, okay. Side work. Okay. Side Thank work. You. Thank you very much. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's go to the next activity, all right? So uh, let me show you, okay? Here you are doing two activities in one, all right? Uh, for the last activity, not for the last activity because we, have, we are going to check the vocabulary, okay? But before we check the vocabulary, uh, we have the two activities, the last two activities of unit number two. So listen, these activities are on page number 28. These activities are very easy, okay? Good, so in activity number one, page 28, you need to complete the sentences using the verbs in parentheses, using the verbs in parentheses, okay? With the simple present, okay? Just remember, remember, if it's third person, you put S in the verb. The idea of this activity is to put S in the verb. Or if it's negative to say, doesn't. If it's negative to say, doesn't in negative, all right? Good. Let's check one quickly. Number one, Jeff, how would it stay? Como quedaría esta? Works. works. Exactly. So the answer works. would be would be works. works. Okay. Works. Let me let me see if I can write it here. So the answer for this one is works. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right. So you continue with the others. Okay. Second activity. Van a completar dos ejercicios. Okay. Second activity. On the second activity, the same page, page 28, you have some uh, words, and if you organize, you will have a sentence, okay? So organizing the words, you will have a sentence. So what is sentence number one, for example? Always pick up tables. But we need a subject. Pero necesitamos un sujeto. What oh, subject do I, you want to pick? You can say I. I always. I always, uh, what? I always, always pick, up, pick up tables. Pick up tables, good. So you can use any pronoun here because we don't have the pronouns, right? Or you can say he, she, or it because we study third person in this, in this unit, okay? He, she, or, uh, or it, it depends, all right? Good, any questions? He, they, no. Mm, you can use they, but the idea is to use third person here. La idea es usar tercera persona acá, porque eso es lo que estudiamos en esta unidad. Third person. Okay? Sure. Third person. I have yeah? a question. What is your question? Eh, en esos verbos que son, no me recuerdo cómo se le llamaban, que como el pickups. Phrasal cuando verbs. Ocupo, phrasal verbs. Ah, ok. Eh, cuando ocupo tercera persona, ¿a dónde agrego la S? En Siempre... El Claro. Siempre la primera, la primera palabra es el verbo siempre. Okay? Ah, okay. Sería pick. Siempre en todos los phrasal verbs pick. la primera palabra es el verbo. Y la segunda ya es lo que complementa el verbo, la, la preposición, ¿ok? Ya, yeah, so you put the S on the first word. Ponemos la, la S en la primera palabra, ¿ok? Ok, very good. So, uh, two activities. Page number 28. Do you have any question? 
Now, questions. What do you prefer, to work alone or to work in groups? What do you prefer, to work alone? Alone, alone. all right. Work alone, alone. then. Alone. In groups. In groups. <laughs> let's in vote. Pairs. In pairs. Okay, yes. let's vote. If you in say in pairs, si dicen en pareja, vayan a reacciones y levanten la mano. So let's see majority. Vamos a votar. Que vayan a reacciones en pareja si levantan la mano. O ni Miguel, en Ángela, en Azalia, en Darwin. Ok, sí, prefieren individual. Entonces, let's work individually. Trabajemos individualmente. Entonces, let's work individually. All right. So we have 10 minutes for these activities. Only write the answers, ok? Solo escriban las respuestas. Only write the answers. Los que tienen el folleto, bien. Si no tiene el folleto impreso, Solamente escriba la respuesta o si no, no va a terminar. ¿Ok?
Thank you very much, Asali. I can see you finished. Thank you for indicating with your hand up. Oh, many people have forgotten. Margarita finished too, Miguel and Adriana. Okay, thank you. So we will check in two minutes. In two minutes, we check. En dos minutos revisamos. In two minutes, we check. Okay? No escriban todas las oraciones, toda la oración, o si no, no vamos a salir a tiempo. If not, we, will, we won't make it on time, okay? Write only the answers. Solo las respuestas, only the answers. Number one in the answer, number two in the answer, number three in the answer, okay? Les voy a ir pasando asistencia mientras están trabajando para tomar ventaja del tiempo, ¿ok? All right, let's see, Ada. Present. Adriana. Present. Ana Michelle. Present. Angela. Present, teacher. Azalia. Present. Darwin. Present, teacher. Flor. Present. Gloria. Yes. Carla. Present. Margarita. I'm here. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ofelia. Here teacher. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafa. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Zulma. Present. Ingrid. Present. Lourdes. Lourdes. Lourdes was connected, right? Estaba conectada, me parece, lo urdes, no. Ok. Oscar. Present. En Susana. Present, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Very good. We check in a minute, all right? In exercise number one, we have seven sentences. And in exercise number um, number two, we have six sentences, okay? Okay, let me, let me share the work. Uh, let me see. Um, Margarita, number one. First exercise, okay? Margarita, number one, first exercise. Okay, let me continue. Okay. Um, Adriana, number two. Mayra, number three. Activity, first exercise, okay? First exercise. Um, Sandra, number four, Sandra, for you. Sandra, number four for you. Uh, Michelle, number five for you. And let me see. And Carla. Carla, number six. Okay, first exercise, okay? First exercise. Second exercise. Second exercise. Number one, Angela. Second exercise, okay? Second exercise. Number two, um, Ophelia. Ophelia, number two. Number three, Ada. Number four, um, let me see here, Gloria. Gloria, number four, second exercise, okay? And let me see, Rafael, number five. Zulma, number six. And number seven, let's give it to... Let me see, let me see here. ¿Quién, no, quién más no ha participado? ¿Quién más no ha participado hoy? Let me see. Susana. Susana, right? participant okay susana okay susana you have number seven second exercise okay very good so uh let me share and in that order you share please all right let me share the screen quickly déjenme compartirles pantalla rápidamente 
Okay, let's see. Uh, so let's go to exercise number one. So um, read all the sentence, please. Lean toda la oración. So Margarita, number one. Jeff. Let the Jeff. Yes. Okay. Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Excellent. Works. Works. Excellent. Thank you, Margarita. Thank you very much. Uh, number two, Adriana. Me. Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Very good. Jane and Pete clean or cleans? Clean. Clean, right? Because it's plural. No es. Yes. No es because it's plural. Thank you very much, Adriana. Number three, no. Mark. Uh, let's see, Mayra. Number three. Yes. Mark doesn't take orders on Wednesdays. Excellent. Doesn't take or does not take. Okay, it's the same. No es in the verb, right? You say only take because it's negative. Thank you very much, Mayra. Number four, Sandra. All restaurants open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Open or opens? Open. With S or with no S? Open. Ah, okay. Open. It's with, it's opens with open. S. Plural. Because it's one yeah. restaurant, it's their person. Uh, it's oh. one restaurant, it's like it. So you say opens with S. Open. Con S. Opens. Okay. Yeah, no, it's one restaurant, it's third person, okay? Okay. Number five, thank you very much, Sandra. Number five, Michelle, our bus. Yes. Our bus spends much time in the restaurant. Very good. Spends with S, right? Spends. Excellent, thank spends. you very much. Number six, Carla. We doesn't close on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We doesn't close on Sundays. What do you think? The others, what do you think? It's correct don't. to say we doesn't? No, sorry, we don't, we don't, don't class on Sunday. We yeah, don't uh, class. Sorry, I confused you because I said third person, right? Yeah, sorry, yes, Carmen. Yes. I confused you, I'm sorry. But the correct form is we don't. We, we don't, don't yes. close we don't on, class Sundays. on Sunday. Yes, or we do not close, all right? Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Carla. Thank you. Okay. Number seven. Um, Angela. Seven. Um, we. Seven. Uh, no, uh, they. Hey. Uh, they expect to have more clients this week. This week. Excellent. So you say expect. No S, right? Only expect. Okay. Expect. They expect to have more clients this week. Thank you very much, Angela. Okay. Second exercise. Number one, okay, um, oh, sorry, aquí era, okay, aquí me confundí, sí, aquí era. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. So it's, it's okay. um, Ophelia, right? Um, Para la siguiente, it's Ophelia. Ophelia. Ophelia era dos, la segunda, ¿tú? Sí, es que me confundí, en el primer ejercicio eran siete, yo le puse seis. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. so I'm going to share number seven. So we have Ophelia oh, for number one. Pero esa pregunta será Jeff. Porque pensé que la uno decía James, usted porque solo seis había asignado. Yes, it's correct, it's correct. Okay, so let's see uh, Ophelia then. Ophelia, number one. Fix, bus, alguares, tablets. What do you think? Los demás que piensan, what do you think? I always. I always, I you always can say. Or pick up tables. I always pick up tables. So you can say she or any pronoun, cualquier pronombre que hayan puesto, okay? I always pick up. Tables, okay, Ophelia, correct, please. I always pick up tables. Number two, um, Ada. Ada, number two for you. Ada, hello. Are you there? Creo que no está Ada. Ada, are you there? T-shirt, t-shirt. Okay. Number two. She changed seldom menu. Mm -hmm. She changed seldom menu. What do you think? <laughs> the others, what do you think? Change. What do you say think? Seldom. Change. Seldom. Seldom. She seldom changes, right? She, she seldom she changes change menu. menu. She seldom changes menu because with she only, we say... Only, only third person? No, no. I mean, you can say 
I or any pronoun, cualquier pronombre. Sí, sí. They, they seldom change or change. They seldom change. Si decimos they, no le ponemos ese. They seldom change menu. Uh -huh. they, okay. they seldom change menu. Okay, okay very good. No se les, que no olviden que el, el, el adverbio va después del pronombre. Okay, the adverb is after the pronoun. Okay, please. Okay, number uh, three. Gloria. Gloria. new employees. Okay, very good. Higher or hires? Hires. Hires, because you are saying he. Okay, he rarely hires new employees because he's third person, es tercera persona, okay? He, she, it are third person, okay? He rarely hires new employees, okay? Mm -hmm. Number four, Rafael. Okay. My company sometimes closes early. Excellent. My company sometimes closes early. Okay. Thank you, Rafa. Ustedes los demás podrían haber dicho cualquier otro sujeto, ¿verdad? You can say, we, we sometimes close early, for example, okay? Yeah. Yes. Number five, uh, Surma. Mm. Voy. <laughs> Y creo que la mía era la número seis. <laughs> number, yeah, yeah. I, I made a mistake. I got confused, right? I'm sorry. You have number five. It's okay. Ah, okay. Entonces sería the company, hardly ever, eh, promotional items, giveaway. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. What do you think? The others, is it correct? Yes. Yes or no? She hardly air commercial item. Yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. What is the no. verb here? What is the verb? Give away, right? Give away is the verb. Give away. Give mm -hmm. away is the verb. So promotional items is at the end of the sentence. Okay, but final. So you say, mm -hmm. uh, my company or the company hardly ever, ever gives give away, away promotional, promotional items. items. Yes. Items. And the last one, la última, the last one. The company, I repeat, the company hardly ever gives away promotional items, okay? And number six, uh, Susana. He never closes Monday. He never closes on Monday, he pretty never good. Closes on Monday. Or you can say the company, right? The company never closes on Mondays, okay? Thank you, Susana. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Hoy sí, los voy a, hoy sí los castigué, creo yo. Demasiado tarde, too late. Son las 19, oh, too late. It's interesting. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Ok, sí, very ya, good. Ya, ya completamos todos nuestros nuestro 10 minutos ahora con usted. Yo ya lo completé. <risa> <risa> ya casi la media hora, teacher. Qué bueno. <risa> I'm sorry. All right, uh, very good. So uh, everyone, uh, solo quiero felicitarlos a todos porque ya completaron el trabajo de la plataforma, todos, ok. Algunos tienen 96, pero imagino que sí lo van a, lo van a dejar, pero solo son como dos o tres, ok. Los demás lo han completado totalmente, el trabajo de la segunda semana y el midterm, ok. So, felicidades. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, thank you teacher. All right. And well, thank you for connecting Hosted today. Teacher. Thank okay, you, my Jen. pleasure. Un placer. Bye. Solo se queda Margarita. Good. Okay? I see. Good okay. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Margarita, don't say good night. <laughs> A Margarita, por, por haber desistido dos veces, la vamos a dejar hasta, la dos, hasta las diez y media. No. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Es broma. I'm kidding. <coughs> ok, Tengo Margarita. preguntas, teacher. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ah, pues sí, nos nah. vamos a quedar hasta diez y media, entonces. <risa> no, no. Creo que va a ser rápido, pero es porque siempre me ha costado. Fíjese que cuando yo observo que ocupan eh, las question words, las W, uh -huh. me, me confundo en ocasiones porque yo veo que en algunas veces cuando ocupan what, no ocupan el auxiliar do. Entonces, no sé si es 
por ciertas reglas cuando no se ocupa el do con las question words o son o, o es casual y o no, no sé cómo guiarme en eso. Ok, very good. Uh, todo depende del tiempo verbal en el, en el que se esté usando el what. Okay. El do solamente se usa en el presente simple y el does. Como por ejemplo, a what sports do you play? Or what sports does she play? All right. Y el, el do y el does se usan en presente, en el tiempo presente. Ok, ya. Yeah. O en el pretérito, sí. creo que le dicen en español. I, I, don't, I have no idea, ¿ok? <risa> That's more complicated. Okay. But anyways, luego si estoy usando otro tiempo verbal, uso el verbo auxiliar de ese tiempo verbal. Por ejemplo, si estoy hablando en pasado, que ya estudiamos el pasado, uso el auxiliar did en pasado para hacer preguntas. Did, D-I-D, ¿ok? Así que en este caso voy a usar el auxiliar did. For example, what did... Uh, what did you eat yesterday? Uso el, el verbo auxiliar did. ¿Ok? Depende del tiempo en el que estemos hablando. O si quiero hablar en el presente continuo, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? ¿Qué estás comiendo? What? Aquí voy a usar are. What are you eating? ¿Ok? ¿Qué estás comiendo? What are you eating? Todo depende del tiempo verbal en el que estemos hablando. Mm -hmm. Ok. Bye. Pero, por ejemplo... Cuando usted nos decía con una pregunta que nos salió hace como dos clases, que si le poníamos like, era como bueno y así. Yo recuerdo de que cuando usted ocupa el, quiero ver, el who, tiene que ponerle with al final. Estaba exactly. viendo en algunos ejemplos porque le digo... Me, me, me estaba preparando para el one to one. Ok, very good, <risa> excellent. Ajá, entonces, no sé si siempre se tiene que poner el with o, o es así como esa ocasión de like que usted nos explicó que es para que se viera mejor. Mm -hmm. No, no, in this case is very necessary. En este caso sí es bien necesario cuando tenemos una acción. Por ejemplo, um, sorry, uh, for example, if I want to say, si yo quiero decir, Um, ¿Con quién juegas fútbol? En las tardes, por ejemplo, ¿con quién? Ese con es el que va al final, el with. No, entonces no puedo dejar de usarlo porque la pregunta no en español incluso no sería ¿Quién juega fútbol? Si digo ¿Quién juega fútbol? La respuesta es diferente, ¿verdad? ¿Yes? O la pregunta es diferente, perdón, en este caso, ¿ok? Así que debe ir el with al final o puede ser ¿Con quién? Ah, en este caso, hablando del con... Voy a poner el verbo también talk. Talk. Que el talk también lleva el, el with en este caso. Así que en este caso podría decir Who are you talking with? ¿Con quién estás hablando? Sería para hacer el con quién. Ese, ese with del que tú me estás hablando. Cuando quiero hacer la pregunta con quién, entonces uso el with al final. ¿Mm? Ah, ok. Si voy a, si mi intención es preguntar con quién, entonces ocupo siempre el who. Uh -huh. El who y al final. Pongo el with. With. Uh -huh. Aunque. For example. Independientemente, lo que sea, siempre el with al final. Exactly. For example, imagine I want to say con, con quién juegas fútbol. I say, who do you play soccer with? O con quién trabajas. Who do you work with? Yes? Ah, uh, ok. En, sí, el caso de si talk, en el caso de talk también, ¿con quién estás hablando? Who are you talking with? With, oh, ok. Entonces with. es con quién. Exactly. Y dependiendo de lo que, la, lo que yo puedo hacer, puedo ocupar el do o el are. Uh -huh. O el is. O sea, Depende el, el de... be... Be de, o, o, o el auxiliar do o el did depende del tiempo en el que estamos hablando por ejemplo yo podría decir con quién jugaste ayer who did you play soccer with con quién jugaste who did you play soccer with uh -huh. ah ok en, eh, en una ocasión eh, hace como que ver tres módulos nos explicaban no sé si es así que siempre que usted vaya a crear una oración y digamos diga yesterday, morning o tomorrow, siempre tiene que ir al final de la oración. 
Yes. Ajá. Ah, bueno, la expresión mal. de tiempo siempre va al final. Ajá. Uh -huh. La expresión de tiempo va siempre al final. Yes. En este caso, que yo quiero preguntar, who did you play soccer yesterday with no, o no, no. with yesterday? En este caso, el with te pone antes del yesterday, porque la expresión de tiempo va al final. Who ah, did you play soccer ah, with yesterday? Ah, ok. Siempre respeto el, esa... esa la regla ah, del final, de la expresión. Ajá, la tiempo. regla del final. Va. Uh -huh. Ya ve. Es que me cuesta hacer preguntas, teacher. Ah, it's okay. <ríe> ok. Entonces sería el do o el did. Did es pasado, ¿verdad? Correctamente. O el is, el amo, el are. O oh, was, where. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Ajá, o el, ajá, exactly. Was, where, en pasado. O el have, que ya estudiamos el have también para el presente perfecto. Y recuerdas, ah. digamos, cómo decir, yo he trabajado dos días, por ejemplo. I have sí, worked. I, I have worked. I Ajá. have, I have to work. No. No, no, en este caso I es have, el verbo I have. have. Ajá. Va, en I este have. caso el verbo have significa haber. Yo he trabajado. I have worked. O yo he jugado. I have played. O yo he comido. I have eaten. ¿Ok? Aquí cambia. Es igual, ahí el verbo auxiliar es el have en este caso, con el presente perfecto, ¿ok? Así que la pregunta va a ser con el verbo have, que puede ser un auxiliar en el presente perfecto, que más o menos estudiamos un poquito acerca de ese en el módulo pasado. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Y sería el are también. Ajá. Piensa en verbos auxiliares, en verbos auxiliares. Aquí vamos a pensar en verbos auxiliares en general, porque hay varios verbos auxiliares, ¿ok? O pueden ser verbos modales, como el should, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. What should ah. I do? What should I do, for example? What should I do? ¿Qué debería yo hacer? What should I do? Que son verbos Entonces, modales. Eso. La oración siempre tiene que llevar auxiliar. Exactly. Un auxiliar o un modal. La pregunta, no la oración. La, la pre pregunta. Ajá, la, la pregunta. pregunta. La, la pregunta, pregunta siempre tiene que llevar un auxiliar. Correctamente, o un verbo, un verbo auxiliar o un verbo modal. Que los verbos modales son could, can o should, hay varios. Uh -huh. Pero los más básicos son el can y el should y el could. Ok. Ok, auxiliar o modal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, teacher. En este caso de los, de, los, de los modales, solo para ahondar un poquito, quizás funcionan como, ¿Sí? como auxiliares, ¿verdad? Que no necesito nada más para hacer la pregunta, sino el verbo modal. Por ejemplo, si yo, si yo quiero decir, ¿qué puedo hacer mañana? El verbo que uso para hacer la pregunta es, what can I, can, es el verbo modal, ¿verdad? What can uh -huh. I do tomorrow? Ajá, ese hace la función del verbo auxiliar, el verbo modal. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Ok, anytime. Sí, venía con preguntas, entonces eso es bueno. That's really good. Sí, sí. No, si usted nos ha dicho que nos preparemos. O sea, yo desde antier <ríe> estaba viendo. Porque sí me cuesta lo de, las, lo de las preguntas, pero ya lo entendí. Porque yo pensé que no sé, o sea, no entendía por si era obligación o no, pero, pero sí, debe ir un auxiliar. Yes. Hoy sí. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Muy amable. All right. Good Thank night. you very much. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow.